For this lesson, we're going to make a tissue paper turtle collage. And we're gonna start out with, the supplies are gonna be a white piece of paper, um, Sharpies, a large and a small one, eraser, pencil, um, Mod Podge. If you don't have Mod Podge, you can always use um, a watered down like white glue, but it won't have the, um, the shiny luster the, of the um, Mod Podge and some tissue paper. The tissue paper I have, I just purchased. I got some um, set packs that came with like some multiple different colors and those work the best. And you'll also need a brush and a container for your, for your Mod Podge. We're gonna start by drawing the turtle. We're gonna start our hawksbill turtle by drawing an oval that ends in a point. And that point is where his tail, kind of the, the tail of his shell is. And once we do that, we're gonna add his back legs and they're just kind of like U's that come into his shell. And his front legs are paddles, so to speak. That's how he swims. And this one's gonna come out from here go out over and in and this one is closer to us so it's going to be a little bit wider and larger now the hawksbill has a head and it has a beak that it kind of uses to to break up shellfish and stuff so we're going to start with an oval ish circle more of a circle over an oval and then, like I said, it has kind of like a, a beak of a bird, so to speak. And it goes out and down. Now, turtles' heads, um, they're connected to their shells because their body is part of their shell. So, so you're going to have an arch that goes here. And then it goes over and connects in. And then if you have any space here, it's going to connect into its shell. Now, when you go to erase, you're going to erase half of this line here because you want his head to look like it's kind of bending. You're going to erase where his head connects to his, his bill here. And you're going to leave the rest. Now, he has, the turtles have like an almond shaped kind of eye. And then they have their their um, their body of their shell. Now he's turned to the side, so we're going to see this edge of his shell, and then we're going to see the top of it. So his edge goes around, and it gets wider, as we see it here, and then goes back in, and we see a little bit of the edge here. Now this is that folded part that you see the little bit the the the, the rim of it, and we're just going to see this part. Now remember, if you're struggling to stay up with me, you can always pause, catch yourself up, and then start it back up again when you get yourself where we're at. Now his shell is rounded, so we're gonna give us, give us a reference line. And that's just gonna be a rounded line that's gonna help us do our, um, his texture on the top, his, his lines for his shell. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a, a, like a, a mountain, a bump, and it's gonna round, round here, and go back down, and then we're gonna do two on each side. Round and down, round and down. Then we're gonna do the same thing using the tips of these as our starting points. Round, stop here, go over, round and down, round and down. Then this will continue this pattern all the way through. Round, go to the tip, go over, round and down, round and down. We'll probably do one more. Oh, we could probably put one more in. And then when you get when you have just a little bit of room, you kind of just do a few lines. And that gives us the illusion of his shell being round. Then we erase that reference line. Here. 
once we have this, you're going to outline it using either a thin Sharpie or a thick Sharpie, depending on how you want to, um, what, what textures or what patterns you want to use on your turtle. So since I did this lighter pattern that you can see through pretty easy with my, um, with my tissue, I used a thinner Sharpie. If you were to use, like here's some of the tissue paper that I, I, I purchased. If you were to use a pattern that was very busy in order to see the turtle through the tissue paper, the collage that you do, you would have to use a thicker Sharpie. So de de depending on which tissue paper you use, see how you can see this through? This, this is right here would be kind of like what this thin Sharpie would be. See how you can see the turtle through here? You could use that here. See how you can't see it through? You'd have to use a, a thicker Sharpie. So depending on which colors you use, see these here, you would probably need to use a thicker Sharpie. You will Sharpie your turtle. So I've gone through and Sharpied this one. So to do your collage, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your Mod Podge, or like I said, if you don't have Mod Podge, you can use just some um, white glue and just add some water to it so it's more liquid, so it's easier to paint with because you want it to be smooth to where you can put it down and it's not thick. So it'd probably be a one-to-one -one water to glue. And then you're just going to take pieces of tissue paper and it's gonna to be torn pieces of tissue paper. And what I did with, with this one was I used pieces of this pattern. See, I use this pattern. But with the kids, sometimes I do warm and cool colors. So I would use like cool colors, which are blue, purple, and green, similar to what I did with this in the water. And then in the turtle, I use the warm colors of the red, orange, and yellow. So I might show you how to do that. And what you do is you just tear pieces that match the shape. So if I wanted to put here, this here, then you just go in, put some of the glue down or the Mod Podge, and you stick it down, and then you just go over it again. Then you overlap with another color. And you would kind of Find the area that you want it to be and go over it again. Now it's going to look white until it dries. And I like the torn look because it, then it looks more natural. So sometimes you may have to see, like, see how this is like a nice edge that matches it here. I'd probably do that until I got to like right here. See how that matches that edge really nice. It's almost perfect for that one there. Then I go back in, I put down my glue or my Mod Podge, and I put it down to where it matches. And sometimes if it doesn't match, you can even fold it over a little bit because you can overlap it. Then you glue it down. And then you just continue this all the way through, overlapping and adding overlapping and adding until your whole turtle is covered. And when you're finished, you have a tissue paper turtle collage.